morning everybody happy friday getting ready to head off to work wanted to jump on here do the morning motivation as usual uh it is friday it's a great day to be happy it's a great day to celebrate because it's friday (laughs) um it's just a great day morning is beautiful it's a little overcast but it's still sunny and wonder woman is out today which is why i'm super excited today but that's not the point of this video (laughs) today's message is about uh bringing or being a hope bringer now I saw or I, I heard this term on a podcast I was listening to and I absolutely loved it. So be a hope bringer. And it's so easy to tear people down. And honestly, I don't know why people do that. Um, you know, people want to be happy. If things are, you know, people are trying to do things to make their lives better, to be happier. Why try and tear them down? You know, and I'm sure all of us can relate to a time where we had something that we were excited about and someone else tried to tear us down again don't know why people do that. Uh, So if there is someone in your life who is excited about a new opportunity, uh, potential with new jobs, uh, whatever it is, you know, reaching, striving for goals, you know, don't bust their bubble. Don't laugh at them. You know, just, you know, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. Just quietly support them or just quietly observe and just watch them do their thing. And the same for you. Like if people do laugh at you or people do try to you know, hate on you or bust your bubble, prove them wrong, you know, but be a hope bringer. We need more positivity in this world. Be a hope bringer. Don't be a bubble buster. (laughs) Um, and, uh, yeah, just if we do that for one another, things could be so much better, honestly. Um, you know, I think people would have a much more positive outlook on life in general. Uh, and, uh, hi Deborah. Good morning. So I think it's just, it's, That's a challenge for all of us. I'm not going to lie. It's so much easier to be negative. And I don't know why. But, you know, like anything else, uh, being positive is sort of like muscle memory. The more you do it, the better you get at it. The more your brain kind of just stays in that mode for the most part. Um, And I'm speaking from personal experience here. I, for the longest time, have been a self-proclaimed pessimist. And for me, it was always easier to be pleasantly surprised than sorely disappointed. But I've changed my attitude, or, you know, and it's a constant work in progress. It's still easy for me to slip into that negative mindset. But I do things to fill my brain, to fuel my brain with positivity, to change my attitude. Not always easy. Gary may not always agree. <laughs> but in my work, uh, not only in education, but in my work as a coach, I really try to work hard to do my best to bring positivity, to bring hope to my clients and to bring hope to the people that decide to work with me and bring hope to the people that, you know, decide to coach on my team and things like that. So I want to be known as a hope bringer. I want to be known as somebody who tries to uplift people. And I think, you know, you should strive for the same. How do you want to be remembered essentially? Or how do you want to be, you know, what do you want your name to be associated with? You know, that's kind of the thing. Like there's an activity out there I've heard of where you write your own obituary, you know, like Tenya did all these things. And, uh, and if it's stuff that you haven't achieved yet or that you're not working towards being remembered for, then that's what you spend your life doing is you kind of chase that obituary, that dream obituary that you want. And I know it sounds kind of morbid, but I get it. Like, this is what I want my legacy to be. So what am I doing right now? You know, there's the born to died, like that little dash mark, you know, what's happening in that dash mark. That's going to be the most significant. So be a hope bringer. That's your challenge today. That's my challenge today. Go see wonder woman. That's the other challenge today. That was not so hard. So anyway, have a great day. Great Friday. Um, have an awesome weekend and I will see you guys again on Monday. Bye.